good morning good evening or oh, good afternoon folks for us anymore don't forget to like and subscribe where am i still in the channel islands in jersey uh, i'm just heading towards the town hall i'm going on a walk it's supposed to be organized by the tourist uh, board or whatever something like that um, so my sister's already gone ahead she's some of her friends are going on the walk as well so we'll see you in a bit folks hopefully i'll get a few uh, clips as we go along on the walk so see you in a bit yeah that's the blue note bar there that's the main sort of shopping centre to the right. This is another street that runs alongside uh, many years ago. There used to be a, a wimpy bar down here. Uh, so I'm trying to find the town hall. I think it's down this way somewhere. I'll have a look and we'll see you in a bit, folks. Yeah, hi folks, greetings. Uh, just walking along, uh, I think we're, the, that's the, well actually, that's, I think that's the town hall. Just there, I think. Seems to be a few people stood outside. And, uh, so, and we've got uh, Burger King here. I'm not going in, I'm not hungry or starving. So, uh, well, I've got a few minutes uh, before the walk's at 10.30. So, uh, I'll just show you up here while I'm waiting. Iceland there. So, uh, we'll just go up here a little bit. Actually, there's a cycle shop there, pedal pair. I did go in last time I was here and bought a light actually for my bike. So, uh, yeah, the wind's got up a little bit now. Just going to give you a little pan back round. There's a Toy Master shop there. Iceland. There used to be a chip shop down there, Hector's, but that's uh, closed down. A well, betting shop there, that's no good to me because I wouldn't waste my money. So, yeah, and then back round to Pedal Power. Yeah, just a quick shot of the memorial here, and so let's hope there's peace in Ukraine. Yeah, greetings, folks. Well, I'm just going to head back towards the town hall um, there used to be a camera shop down here somewhere on the right they sold uh, Panasonic cameras and uh, they um, closed down now but it was a good shop so anyway just waiting for my sister to turn up then uh, so then I'll be over there. So there's a town hall. Does look nice. So we'll uh, see you in a bit. Yeah, hi folks. Well, we're all uh, waiting to set off. Um, I'll try and sort of not going to film everybody on the walk, but I'll just sort of keep in the background. Um, let's go across here. Now, apparently, if you do want to go any of these walks, you are supposed to book. Well, Shirley said she did ring and the chap said she didn't have to book, but he doesn't seem to remember speaking to her, but we've all been A-OK -okay to join the walk. So, uh, yeah, there's everybody waiting over there. Every Thursday, half past 10, 
so come along. It would be a good idea if you looked. Um, it's available on Eventbrite. I say this every week to the locals. They still uh, oh, turn up and say, is it all right if I come along? It's not so bad today. Sorry, can we move in a little bit? Um, because it's a bank holiday and there aren't lorries rushing back and forth well, down here. So it's a little bit easier today, but normally you get sort of 30 or 40 people, it's a, it's a bit of a problem. So I wonder if that adds up to 29 when I start counting in a minute, but we'll see. And there's Patrick, who's like in 24. Okay, so. <laughs> when uh, a few people turned up and sort of hung up, no, a quarter of a million years ago, people were on the island. Uh, we got broken away from France in the sense that the tide came in quite a bit one day. Uh, so we became an island around about five or six thousand years ago, uh, and we all sort of drifted around. Do, any dates in English history? You know? 1066. <laughs> okay, 1066 isn't much of a date for us, but it because, uh, it, well, the locals will shout this at you. Because in 1066, uh, having taken over Brittany, we took over England. So we uh, took over England in 1066. Our Duke of Normandy. Uh... In folks, I think there's there's about uh, about 30 of us, I think, on the walk now. Uh, I'm just going to stay in the background, just get a few clips as we go along. So see you shortly, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I use it on the walks on my own, so it makes the change to uh, follow a few people. Uh, follow me, folks. The, um, Mr. Sinau was a procurer. He's not set up this uh, base. Mr. Sinau was a procurer of St. Helia. He worked on the for many years. Edmonton there. I was in the same guy. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not going to get too far, luckily. We've got okay. a celebrity with us. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> um, well, there's a few apologies. I did apologise at the beginning that I am not so gory. I also apologise for my uh, linguistic non skills. But, uh, a sculpture was put up, which is sort of quite an odd four sided cross. Um, and Mr. Sinel and his the other proctor, which are the men that are in charge of well, the people that are in charge of um, the finances. Did it say down there the other one? Mm. Right. 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 And it was put there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not big <laughs> 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 He's talking to a nice chap from Lincolnshire. Um, he's over on his holidays. Unfortunately, he lost his wife said about a year ago, and he's come over on his own. There's nothing wrong with that, coming on your own on holidays. Some people do sort of things a bit strange when you go on your own, but being on your own shouldn't stop you doing anything and it's a bit cheaper as well but i'm not tight that's another story i gave him a card I hope he watches the videos so i'm going to catch everybody up now uh, yeah all going down here so uh yeah it's uh it's thursday Let's see if i can tell you the date second of june 2022 it's a bank holiday queen's jubilee so, I don't know, we're just coming outside the building here and there. So, uh, see what this is all about. Yeah. Cars and things do come down here, which happened. And uh, I don't know what happened last night, I'm going to be shot down if they know that. But they normally have a band of places you do. Yeah, he's doing a bit of a talk there, but I'll do my own talk here. There's a, uh, a nice. Uh, memorial there and uh, also just here that used to be the public toilet it's never it's one place I won't eat it's never a cafe you can't see it from this side but uh, somewhere I won't go anyway back to the talk of the island uh, in 1204 when King John um, lost all the French lands still kept the uh, uh, you know still hung on to jersey 
uh, basically just run all the trade routes. He, need, he didn't come and sort of stand over here, he needed somebody to sort them out. And he came over at something called the Warden of the Isles, who looked after the, the Channel Islands as one big conglomerate, because that's a fool. Uh, she's got the, the British Empire Medal, which is different from the NBE, a member of the British Empire. Uh, the services community, the Joan Tapley. Yeah. Greetings folks, we're carrying on on the walk, uh, this is to do with the, uh, uh, well, someone having a picture took at the moment, but they got a Jersey Zoo here and they got a gorilla, I'll just see if I can show you, uh, that's to do with the uh, zoo, and again there's the fountain, and there's the former public toilets which is now a canteen, so Let's follow everybody. So it says Vapor Street, but I think that's the, uh, the name of the shop. Um, so a uh, bit of traffic here. Yeah, so I'm not sure. We're just heading now uh, somewhere else on the walk. There's quite a few actually on this. I'll just give you a little uh, spin round. I'll just, uh, we're heading uh, towards the court. There's a way bridge, I think. I'm not a local, so I might be wrong. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a nice uh, little uh, morning. The weather's nice, and uh, everyone's uh, enjoying the uh, little walk round. Bit of history, so uh, yeah, it's all right. So we're heading across here now. So we'll see you shortly, folks. Yeah, hi, folks. Uh, we're down by the bus station now. I, I did follow. Some people went one way, some people went another. But luckily, I saw one of the ladies waving, say, this way. So, uh, yeah, I'll just show you the outside of the bus station over there. Uh, you get the double deckers, they don't go in. Um, obviously, it won't fit in, but. Uh, yeah, so we've got another Indian restaurant there. Shirley's favourite. Do you have curry, Shirley? Okay. For a curry? Oh, it's not that good. It's not that good. I was saying, let our town tend to be kind of good. Go wild at Jersey Zoo. Got the uh, train. There, land train that goes up to uh, St Albans. There, just using the pocket today. I've got all the cameras with me, but uh, just using the pocket. Yeah, these uh, bikes uh, they probably don't cost a lot, so it's a shame they don't sell them. People will probably buy these. Yeah, uh, there's quite a few here. The only thing is. That you need a helmet 
and a high vis. So uh, anyway, we're going to carry on along here. Yeah, so that's uh, Liberty Wharf over there, and uh, just waiting to get across here. Um, got the waterfront over there. Um, yeah, we'll do. I'll tell him. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, doing another talk here now. Something different there. Uh, on one of these big buildings here, there are a couple of some chrome uh, uh, people. Yeah, is it still there? Yeah, yeah. it's still there. Uh, yeah. So. That now this is really the, the only little bit of foreshore that we've got. Um, what the heck's that got to do with royalty? Well, as you all know, the crown owns all the... Uh, yeah, this is to do with the foreshore here. Um, what I just showed you before, that water running there, that's apparently that's art. Apparently when they built all these buildings, they had to spend so much on art. And that's one of the things there. So... Uh, Anyway, that's a bit of information, folks. Photograph, actually. I say this was 1911, which was George the Fifth. Um, I may talk about. Well, I probably yeah, I might get around to this. It's quite just there's a little public telephone sign here. And right, this, this is interesting. He looks quite a modern guy with a mobile phone. Um, so this is a stitch. There's a chap who sort of took lots of old Jersey photos. Used to quite interesting sort of ideas. Um, but this was from the coronation, as I say, 22nd of June, copy, because it's actually different people here. It's obviously from the phone, same photo shoot, but I can't find this original thing here. But these were um, sort of things, fifth, Edward V, yeah, it's a nice and uh, there were lots of triumphs, yeah. so they decided that they would have a floral parade. Long live and, the Queen. Uh, so, you know, people came out, well, it doesn't say, oh, no, 1890. Lots of people with Oh, there's a, 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 a reasonable floral parade with about the a meeting about it, the parishes of Helia, and there were two abstentions, everybody else voted for it. But since then, there's been a little bit of an uh, outcry that Trenton uh, is named after the capital of uh, New Jersey. Uh, she came over in 1646. Do you know much about English history? Well, it's Charles I who didn't do too well, I think, really, and uh, he had a bit of a lot of hassle with Parliament. Uh, and there was a bit of a civil war. He had his head chopped off. A guy called Olive Cromwell took over uh, and it became a republic. He called it the Commonwealth. So the monarchy, uh, like a date, uh, 1646, I think, the monarchy, King Charles first, his head chopped off. Now, we, we don't really care about what happens to the English king, except that was our Duke of Normandy. So we had to really do something about that. So, um, I think. Sir. Let's catch up with these here. Just crossing over the the road, spin you around. Uh, I'll just give you a little uh, shot round. There's a gym here, and uh, just a little uh, pan round. We're heading. Uh, along here now so it's been a nice uh, informative walk obviously i've just been doing clips it's a nice bike there uh, i'm going to carry on down here so uh yeah so that's uh i think that's the swimming baths actually Hmm. Yeah, just uh, yeah, see the slides there. So, yeah, we'll carry on down here. See you a bit further along, folks. So there's the uh, around the train there.
we're heading looks like to the uh, to the waterfront that's what it says on the tin yeah so uh, we're heading to this uh, monument down here uh, I'm not sure what it is but hopefully uh, should be able to find out It's a nice little uh, like seating area here. Not everyone else is touching it, so. Well, I won't ask anyone else. But you know, uh, it's, uh, it, it, this was uh, uh, the, the, the sort of monument that we put up for the 50th anniversary of uh, the Queen's reign. Um, I've realised I now, as a man of not too much. Uh, culture and aesthetics. I'm always quite more interested in the technicalities of it and uh, whatever. But uh, aesthetically, the, uh, it's a Robert Perry, I think his name's around the front. Is that right? Richard. Is that right? Richard, Richard Perry, well, it's not bad. Uh, uh, Richard Perry, the artist that did this. He also did the Freedom Tree. There's a tree the other end here as well, which some of you may have seen. Yeah, yeah greetings, folks. Well, we've just left that monument there apparently it cost two hundred uh, thousand pounds and Prince Charles I think he uh, he opened it in 2004 revealed it or whatever uh, this is the harbour here it's normally full of boats there's a few arriving because there is a boat show on next weekend so I'll just give you a quick flick round so it's completely empty at the moment, apart from them few boats in the corner. So uh, yeah, so I'm now we're now heading to the Royal Square, apparently. So I'll see you a bit further along. Prince, when he came over, we crowned him king. But, you know, um, we would believe that to be true, I suppose. Uh, but so uh, he wasn't really a, a, an official reigning monarch. So she came. They came twice. And uh, both times they, well, the first time they came, this wasn't here. It was just the harbour uh, below the there. Um, uh, there is a classic story which I'm sure you've all heard. But they came twice. Both times they, they came, it was a low tide. And, uh, you know, there was no sea here. And then Albert, uh, you know, uh, husband sort of turned to Queen Victoria and said, these are weird people, these Jersey people. They built their farmer on dry land. Uh, they had to walk ashore both times. But, and it took round about eight years. They built this first of all, and uh, the next over there, and then they called this the Victoria. Well, they called this the Albert Pier uh, and the Victoria Pier. So these are the uh, Victorian Albert Piers, named after royalty. Um, so it's uh, it says Happy Birthday to the Queen. So if you ever see this fully dressed, it's going to be somebody quite important. But normally there's not much. Um, a long, long time ago, I ended up in Boston for a few days, which was over the other side of town. And um, my wife bought me the almanac, you see, this is the right? And in the front of the almanac, it had got all of the signals that were here, because I could see it out of the window. All of the things that this signal station uh, would record. Uh, it still does a little bit with if there's, um, if there's storms, phones go up, uh, say which way the wind's going. But there yeah, hi folks, heading towards uh, the Royal Square now. This is a sculpture made out of mines. Uh, so, uh, yeah, all the folks have uh, gone on ahead. One or two have uh, dropped out. Um, so, uh, just to say, an empty. Uh, harbour here we've got a museum over there oh <laughs> you got me just here i just went to straighten the gimbal and it uh, decided to spin round i've got it on charge at the moment and the cables 
not that long so I can't pull it too far away so spin it back round uh, yeah so it always just recenter the gimbal yeah so there's a, so there's a couple of boats that's for sale that looks nice that one there um, they do say the happiest times about owning a boat is the day you buy it and uh, the day you sell it now it has uh, uh, give me a bit of information here it's a uh, refurbishment so uh, they've been refurbishing the uh, marina so that's why uh, why it's been empty so yeah I thought it looked a bit tidier everything but so there we go so I'm going to go and catch the uh, guide up now he's over there see you in a minute folks Yeah, so there's the uh, land train just there. Uh, it used to be a, a meat market over there. I should find the find the, the gang. Let me a minute, folks. Right, so uh, that's the Pompadour Pompadour Hotel opposite, and. Uh, Liberty Wharf. That's the Royal Yacht Hotel, he's going to do a bit of talk about it now. And uh, I'm not going to be making this up as I came across it. it. Actually, this is possibly, well, this is probably the oldest hotel in the island. I mean, it goes back to the 1820s, when it was called the London and something else. Uh, with a plenty of yacht in the hotel. Uh, and it's been there for a long time. It was called the Royal Hotel uh, after a visit of Queen Victoria said she came twice to the island and um, I did a little bit of research years ago I mean did loads of stuff across the dock wall um, but the basic thing about this was and I always wonder why it's called a Royal Yacht Hotel one assumes that she went there but she didn't she never went there at all but what they did they, they had a big celebratory meal on the day that she well she only came over the day she left so in the evening and they just called themselves the Royal Yacht Hotel since then so it's not any real royal connection. This big press that he's got up there, that's the arms of the Queen's of England, of Great Britain. Um, it's interesting actually, because it's two, three. Right, okay. Do you know the map of the snow? Most of those sounded like parishes. Uh, there, there are, for the visitors, there are 12 parishes, and people are re linked to their parishes you know sorry that, I shouldn't mean that in a, in a derogatory way but you know if, virtually everybody says the parish they live in 
uh, because it's a very important, and it's a civil uh, area, and it's only been kicking around for well, maybe 800 years or so. Not really long. Did anybody not shout out the parish and say something else? The Rock. The Rock. Uh, what did you say? Hard to part. There are other areas uh, that are shouted out, like um, the Rock, Hard to part. Uh, later on, we'll check this out, uh, and it may be a legitimate sort of area. Um, we will see. There's also uh, so, so th these. I, I don't know exactly about those two, you know, but they're to do with port areas. But there are other areas. There are uh, there are the um, so that's civil. There are also religious areas. I have a list of the. I've got a list of about 140 of them, <laughs> and there may be even more. But where we're standing, from at least number 26. And what's this area called? Snow Hill. This is Snow Hill, which is actually called. But it's actually called the Free of the London. So, uh, we all know the Snow Hill, and I don't know where it is, I've got a map, I can pass this around, and uh, it's fairly, and it's the smallest thing you can see, <laughs> so the locals, you can have a look at that, see if you can, you know, you can see some rooms in your YouTube or something. Um, but the interesting thing about this here, that it was actually up for sale in 2016, uh, and it was for sale for £25,000. It went through some UK memorial, yeah, hi folks. Well, we're now heading to the Royal Square. Give you a quick spin round. That's where the walk ends. I haven't walked too far, which has been uh, you know, easy on the knee. I wasn't sure what to expect, but learned a bit of history. But I've only just felt film little clips as we've gone around so the only way to get the full walk is to come on it so we'll see you in a minute folks that's the uh, state's chamber yeah, lovely building that um, heading towards the town there, this is the uh, Royal Square. I was sat in here the other night on one of my videos. So, uh, let's go and uh, see what he's got to say. Guess when this went up? 1751, that's right. 1752, that's right, you know. <laughs> you don't have to change. Um, and it was decided to put the, the, the statue up there. Um, I mean, it, he looks a bit clamped, doesn't he? I think he's, you know, all this sort of toga and, and you know, hand on hip. Um, he, he, you know, no, uh, there are some postcards. If you think you've won a prize, there's some. These are only three because I found somewhere. So, uh, the, I don't know if the visitors were going to post the other post. You know what post I've got? Well, if you feel you want a prize, you're going to... Yeah, that's the end there? of the... Uh... Oh, sorry! P.S. <laughs> yes, there's lots of plaques around here. Uh, quite a lot of the questions on there will be answered if you read all these little bits of pictures. So, uh, end of the, end of the tour, folks. Thanks a lot. Okay. Enjoyed it. 
Yeah, hi folks, well, I'm going to end the video now. I enjoyed that. Uh, nice to have a bit of company on the walk. Uh, my sister went off early and her friends, uh, a few people, you know, left. But there was quite a crowd still to the end, so that was nice. So thanks to the tour guide and uh, it was nice seeing everyone having, enjoying themselves. So as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, it's free to do that and we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to check out all the videos on my trip to Jersey. See you in a bit folks. Bye for now. Bye.